Hey everyone, Norman from Soundtracks here. Today we're going to cover one of our industry leading features in the Tsunami 2 decoders, namely dynamic digital exhaust. So without further ado, let's get started. So dynamic digital exhaust is a feature present in our Tsunami 2 decoders that allows the decoder to dynamically adjust the notching of the diesel or the veracity of the exhaust chuff in a steam locomotive in order to simulate the engine working either uh, harder or less hard. Now before we get into how DDE functions, we should probably get into the way it works first. So DDE uses what is known as back EMF or back electromagnetic force which is a way for the decoder to read how hard the motor is working. And what this allows it to do is this allows it to figure out exactly how much load the motor is under. Now this is also why it's important to calibrate DDE first before using it because every single mechanism is going to be different. So in order to use DDE effectively, you want to make sure it is well matched to your mechanism so it knows what the baseline is and therefore what to look for when it's under a light load or a heavy load, and it will adjust accordingly. So now that we've explained why we need to calibrate, we're going to go ahead and do so. So first we're going to grab our throttle, and then we're going to make sure to program on main. In this case, this is loco number three. And we're going to want to get into the two dot indexed CVs. So we're going to set CV32 to a value of two. Now on diesels like the one I have here, the DDE is actually disabled by default in CV2.512. So we're going to go ahead and enable it. And I'm just going to put in a, set, a DDE sensitivity of 16 to start. So now that we've got our sensitivity set, we can go ahead and move up to speed step one, which is going to be the first place we want to actually calibrate from. So our CV32 is still set at two from previously, so we're going to go, want to go to CV2.503, and we're going to want to program 255 while we're on straight and level track running at speed step one. And what this will do is this will tell the decoder to measure the back EMF load on the motor at this point so that we can and that's going to be our starting position so now we want to calibrate at a higher speed so we're actually going to back up our locomotive a fair amount just so we have a fair amount of space in which to work and we are going to move to speed step 30 program on main and now we're going to want to set 2.504 to 255 to measure the back EMF at this point in the locomotive's speed. So now that our DDE is set up, we can go ahead and demonstrate an action. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and speed up the diesel and place my finger in front of it. And you can hear the locomotive notches up as it senses the higher load. And then, when I release it, you will hear it notch down. So that's a brief overview of how DDE works, what it is, and how to set it up. Now, I'm sure you can all imagine how this would work well on various layouts that have, let's say, grades or long trains, where you can, the locomotive will automatically adjust itself to create more realism in these environments. Thank you for watching. We do have a more detailed video on DDE that we published previously if you wish to learn more. I hope you enjoyed this brief overview, and if you have any questions, don't, don't hesitate to email us at support at soundtracks.com.